Gartner turned out of the fallout from those pictures showing the capture of Boston bombing suspect Shahar Zarnayev. The cop who released those stunning photos without permission has been assigned to desk duty while the department investigates, and this morning his sons are defending him. ABC's Pierre Thomas has the story. Murphy, flanked by his two sons, declined to speak after being told by his bosses not to. But his sons had a lot to say. They back him completely. My dad made a stand, uh, an, an amazing stand against what we all saw as an injustice to the city. I feel like it was the right choice for him to make. Um, I believe he did the right thing. The right thing, according to his family, was to release these photographs showing a bloody Jokar Zarnayev right before his surrender. Police sniper locked in on his forehead. The pictures to counter this Rolling Stone cover, which critics say made Zarnayev look like a rock star. Everyone had every right to be furious with it. I, I myself was very furious. <laughs> The fury in the aftermath of a bombing that killed three and wounded more than 170 others, including some who lost limbs. Before releasing the photos, Murphy even talked it over with his sons. A few hours before he decided to go to the media, he said to me, this could be huge. This could help a lot of people. You have to do what you have to do. Sergeant Murphy has no regrets. We asked his lawyer if he would do yes, it again. That's... Without question, this is a man of principle. His resolve has been fueled by overwhelming support from fellow officers and many of the victims. He's gotten tearful uh, phone calls. He's met with a young man. The first time he stood after losing both legs was uh, to have his picture taken with Sergeant Murphy. And nothing can mean more uh, to him than that, and that's why he did it. For Sergeant Murphy, Murphy this is personal. His family is hoping for the best. But they say he'll live with the consequences, Elizabeth. All right, Pierre. Thanks so much.